Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another interesting and very quick video. So a lot of people are asking if you move from India to Germany as a data analyst, how much can you earn, right? What are the tax breakdowns in Germany? Now I see last one month, the market has improved slightly, not too much, but at least people are getting hired. Some people are moving even from India. So I thought this could be a good time to just share you like if there's an overall salary, how much you can take home. So I'll put this link in our description, but this is how we can calculate, right? Let's say you're offered a salary like around maybe let's say 60,000 euros per year, right? So you can break it down. So 60,000 euros per year is 5,000 euros per month. That will be your gross. So you can select month or year here. So I select 5,000 euro per month. Um, then let's say you are selected this year, I put 2025. So if you have any tax allowance, you can claim it later in your tax returns. At the moment, I'm putting nothing. If you're moving uh, newly to Germany or go, or you're going to start full time for the first time, then tax class is, uh, is an important thing. There are many tax classes. So tax class one is like if you're single, uh, then uh, obviously you have uh, tax class, um, you know, three and five is like if you're married and one person is earning higher, one person is earning lower. Class four is you're married and your partner is also married. And obviously both of you have similar salary, then that might be a better option, right? It depends on your case. And then, you know, there are some other classes like one, I think it's like if you're a single mother or single father, things like that, right? So for uh, sake of simplicity, if I put class one, like, you know, assume you're single, and if you're going to contribute the church or not, you know, you can say no, like if you're not going to, like in the sense, if you're not a Christian, I think that's a straightforward answer, then your state, right? Let's say you move to Berlin and you put in your age, let's put something hypothetical like 29, you don't have children, so I put a no. Legally insured, like obviously you'll have health insurance and let's say you don't want to make additional contributions. So 60,000 euro per year or 5,000 euro per month with all these uh, criteria, tax class one. So I assume you're single, Let's calculate. So you see all the deductions that are going, uh, church tax you won't pay as you're not opting in for the church, uh, unemployment, health insurance and all that. So you'll be left with about 3,100, 3,200, right? For 60,000 euro, right? As a single person. So like from 5,000, yeah, almost 1,800, right? Like that's about 36% that goes down. But remember in that it's not only tax, right? It's, it's also about your health insurance. It's also about your pension contributions, right? So if you contribute to the pension system for more than a year, and if you lose your job, the government will pay you like 60% of your last net salary for a certain period. So yeah, it goes into there, right? It doesn't go completely waste or anything. Health insurance, like if you want to go to hospital, most surgeries will be free since you're paying the contribution every month. And there's a small unemployment and for long term nursing care insurance, if you get disabled or something, this will come into play, you won't need to spend a lot of money. So yeah, in the end you get 3,200 in hand. This is single person, 5,000 euro, right? Now I'll show you a funny thing. Let's say you're married, right? I'll make it tax class three, right? So you're married and let's say you are earning higher than your partner. Um, and I, I keep everything else the same, right? Like age 29, Berlin, like everything the same. And now you see you get 3,551. That was 3,166, almost 400 euro more just because you are married and your partner is not working or earning much lesser, right? So that's that's a bit funny, but yes, like definitely, yeah. Like if you're married, um, I think Germany rewards you with the income tax break. So you make like for the same salary, like 300, 400 euro more. This could be an extra like trip every month for you, right? Like something like that, or you can use it for your India ticket or going somewhere. That's a funny thing. like. Here it works based on whether you're single, married, you have kids. If you have kids, you also get some other benefits like monthly few hundred euro, like 250, 300 euro per kid, kindergeld and things like that. So keep this in mind. This is how it works. There is deductions. But if you're married, as you see, it's almost 3600. Like so you're only losing like 28 percent overall. If you're single, you lose 36 percent. There's an 8 percent or like 400 euro difference. Keep that in mind. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll share this link. You can play around and check. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, take care.